Now what about the size of the gradient? Does it just mean how much the whole surface is tilted compared to the x1, x2 plane? Not quite. It doesn't just mean steepness in general. It actually tells us how fast the function value goes up if we move in the gradient direction. So the gradient's magnitude is really the slope in the steepest direction. For example, this purple line here isn't the gradient. It's just one possible slope of the surface. In single variable functions, the absolute value of the derivative gave us the steepness of the curve, right? Just one line to worry about. But in multivariable functions, you can draw lots of different lines on the surface, and each one has a different slope. Among all those, the steepest one is the gradient direction. And the size of the gradient vector is the slope in that direction, the maximum rate of change. In other words, the gradient's magnitude tells us if we move one unit in the gradient direction, the function increases by exactly that much. In this example, the gradient's magnitude is the square root of 5. So that means if we move just one unit in the yellow gradient direction, the function value goes up by the square root of 5. It's not that the whole plane is tilted by the square root of 5. It's that in this special direction, f increases at the square root of 5 per unit step.